I laid down the shape that I want to mask ultimately and I burnished it with the back of the scissors. And the really important thing with uh, masking is to kind of anticipate um, which way you want to do your brush strokes and then tape off enough of the painting um, to be able to freely do, do the brush strokes that you want. So I'm taping off the little shape plus some extra room so I can brush around. Meanwhile, on Arch's cold press watercolor paper, I'm preparing something by cutting up the blue tape into raindrop shapes. And I'm placing them all around the page, conjuring a sort of uh, rainstorm. I'm using Neomegilp for a medium this time, and that just makes the paint a little bit smoother for application. Here you see I did some vertical lines and some horizontal lines, and that will smooth out uh, surface brush strokes. And I'm carefully removing the tape while it's still wet. So it's doing a really nice job of um, cleanly masking off only the shape that I wanted to add, but you can see a couple of white spots where paint had peeled. So I'm going to make a touch-up varnish using a little bit more medium, which is Neomegilp in this case, and some cadmium orange and just a touch of burnt umber too. So let's look at the result. And then we'll switch over to watercolor. So I'm using Payne's Gray watercolor. And I'm just using a very dry brush, just picking up a little bit of paint off a slightly more wet brush to get this gestural atmospheric effect. It's sort of a stormy effect that I'm going for. And again, notice how I can just, you know, go across the masking tape without worrying about the edges. And then carefully remove the tape. And you can see it leaves nice clean edges. And then let's see the final result. Give it a try. I bet you can do something amazing with it. Good luck.